Tuesday, everyone. I hope your afternoon is off to a great start. Brr, it's cold outside. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Y'all don't want to hear me sing. I no. know this, but it's cold. It's wet. So make sure you do not leave the office without an umbrella and a jacket. I'm rain no boots. meteorologist, but I can tell you, rain boots really do do justice whenever it comes to this, this type of weather. And I can't take credit for my rain boots because Samika Knight first had them. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I really Really like those, so then I went and found them on Poshmark for like hundred bucks. So I was like, what? score? Yes, but what is that saying? Um, imitation is the greatest form, greatest form of flattery. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Elisa, <laughs> helping me out here on the midday. I haven't had enough coffee today, so I'm a little bit slow. But uh, here on the midday, we like to hook you guys up with deals that you can take advantage of all throughout the day. So today's digital deal is actually a great. Christmas present for maybe the uh, handy man or woman in your life. So it is a cordless drill we found on sale for less than 50 bucks, right at 48.88. You can find today's digital deal of the day on our ABC 13 mobile app. Or hey, you're probably watching the midday off of my social media pages, so I have the link posted for you. Just scroll on down, Chelsea ABC 13. Every home needs a power drill. Yes. I'll let you know that. Every I home. don't have one. You need to get a power I'm drill. I'm like thinking, wait a minute. I don't think I have one. But that, mm, my fiance can take care of that. How about that? Okay. Well, um, next up, Lyft has just announced its most popular destinations in the Houston area. Jerry, can you take a guess at what this might be? The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Oh, he only knows that because he wrote the script. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the popular destinations. <laughs> most famous. Okay, but I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo up next. This one actually surprised me. Washington Avenue, that's where they have all those um, bars and Party you know, animals. clutch, cow concrete cowboy, kung fu. And then the most celebrated restaurant and bar is Barbarella's. I don't know what that is. So it, it's cool. a Latin, it's a Latin bar I don't know. Need to in check it out. Midtown. I could be saying that wrong. It could be downtown or Midtown. I've been there once. Mm -hmm. I got my dance moves on. Hey, Speaking hey, of uh, salsa, merengue, and pachata, listen to this. It's All right, guys, so the legendary Bachata Band Aventura. is here, announced that they are coming to the Toyota Center. Pre-sale tickets for the Valentine's Day concert went on sale this morning in their first U.S. tour in over a decade. This is some exciting news. Jerry was on the phone calling his wife to let her know that they were, oh, dude, you know what? She's a big fan. Yeah, but Valentine's Day, you should totally surprise her. Yes. Well, if she watches this show, <laughs> nah, she don't. <laughs> She's working Cats right now. Cats out she of the bag. Sorry. A, that was a plan. So, if, honey, oh, if you, oh. if you uh, hear this, happy well, early Valentine's Day. Well, she calls you Day. back because she, she is at work, so she didn't answer. Yeah. If she calls you back, just say you forgot your lunch money. Yeah. <laughs> we had a question. That means something. <laughs> okay. Well, um... This next story that we're at right now is, oh, you're pointing. I'm like, who's back there? Um, Jerry wants me to move over here because the Three Little Pities All Breed Rescue is hosting a happy hol um, ho holidays. Holidays. How? <laughs> Days. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Uh, on Saturday, December 14th at Bass Pro in Pearland, uh, they're going to have some food, hot dogs, and baked goods, and plenty of merch for sale. Uh, they will also have plenty of information on spaying and neutering your pups, too. So make sure you You're check just them goofy out. today. <laughs> Me? How? You know, Bentley, my little seven pound Morky, half Maltese, half Yorkie, he howls whenever we leave. We have a little camera that we watch him on, and he literally Aww. howls. Is he howling because he's sad or because he's yeah, probably. ready to tear something up? No, he, he's howling because he's sad Aww. because Poor he has kid. separation anxiety. That's a whole other story. A lot of dogs, too. All right, so um, next up, Burns Barbecue in North Houston is famous for its ribs, links, and other smoked foods, but it's a massive. 10 pound baked potato that's truly taking the spotlight here. Let's watch how they make it. We're gonna start off with three of our 
largest baked potatoes, and we're gonna stuff these things up. First, we're gonna start you off with a dollop of butter here, here, here. Then we're gonna add a little bit of cheese, just to bind things together. We're gonna add a little sour cream down here for flavor, and a little chives down there, because every bite matters, right? And let's go for the big stuff. So we're gonna do a pound of chopped beef. We're gonna add that right over here. And we're gonna add some of our mild original link. And we're gonna add half a pound of our famous homemade link. This is our Cajun spicy link right here, one of our best sellers. This is that spicy kicker right here. And time for the good stuff. We're gonna finish it off with a pound of Burns Original Barbecue Ribs. Stick that right there. We're gonna add a, some of our famous Burns Original Sauce. One of our famous sauces here in Texas. Just when you thought we was finished. Top it off Texas style. Add a little sour cream here. Come on with a little cheese or a lot of cheese. And we're gonna finish it off with some chives, guys. And a little bit more cheese. 10 pound baked potato. This is one of our new attractions, our mega super Burns baked potato. Wow. That's a lot of food. That's all I can say. I can so the Roy Burns baked potato, get this guys, will set you back 75 bones. Bones. Okay. That'll, that'll speak. <laughs> yes. yeah. You are goofy today. Okay, so community journalist Chaz Miller is going to be there today, so you can check him out in his live shots throughout the day in our newscasts at 3, 4, 5, possibly 6 p.m. as well. Uh, and that just, I hope he, Chaz, if you're watching this, bring us back some food. Yeah, Chaz. Chaz. He always gets the good stuff. All right, so have you guys done your Santa photos yet? I thought Elisa was still there, but she's not. Okay. I have, have not. You have not. Well, it's a holiday tradition, of course, and we're about to tell you about the top spots to go and get your pictures taken with Santa. So first up is Bearings, both locations off of Westheimer and off of Bissonette. They are hosting Santa photos every Saturday and Sunday until Christmas from noon to 4 p.m. each day. <laughs> So a photographer will be on hand and get this guys, the pictures are absolutely free. But you are encouraged to bring a toy donation to Lily's Toy Box or the Women's Home. Okay, next up, you can head over to the Lone Star Flight Museum for photos with Santa and a PT-17 Stearman. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, pictures are free with general admission, so you do have to pay out of pocket. Tickets range from $9.95 to $14.95. Santa will make his appearance at 11 a.m. over the next two Saturdays, December 14th and 21st. All right, next up, you can get all dressed up for photos with Santa at the Annie Restaurant in the Galleria. It's uh, Saturday, December 14th from 9 to 2 p.m. This is in the Galleria area. And then if you want to splurge on brunch a bit, then uh, you're more than welcome to. It's $45 for children and $65 for adults and includes hot chocolate and cider bars. I don't think I've ever Sounds had a cider cool. bar. Let's get down to La Terea. La Terea, that, La Terea. Let's go to, okay. let's play, if you, in case you don't know, that's the uh, Mexican version of bingo. On your board. <laughs> Turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is on Google Doodle today, and it's uh, back on this day in 1913. Mexico copyrighted this game. So I don't know if uh, you played this when you were younger, but we played it a lot in our family. My sister plays this all the time. Hit, and hit skip instructions so we can actually okay. play. Hit no, random right? match, yeah. Stop. Okay. Yes. And okay. You, you're gonna play with random people from around Nobody the world. Nobody will be working today. <laughs> this is actually better than solitaire. Right? But it's really fast. Okay, okay, what do I do? What do I do? Go there. Hit the one in the corner right oh, there. Oh. There you go. Oh, it's really oh, fast. Oh, 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 I don't see the melon. Okay. You don't uh, have it. Uh, do I have it? Nope. Oh gosh, no. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I, ha <laughs> I have. No, that's not it. That's not it. Oh, there here, you go. Here. Okay. Okay. Next up. Next up. El I don't have him. Okay. El no, I don't have the heart. El <laughs> oh, I got that one. Okay. El Guys, this is actually so much and fun. And you can actually see your opponents in the in the left box, so it gets kind of a. Well, they're not doing anything. They're not doing well either. El Barril. So I I'm winning. Won one. <laughs> oh, I got that. Oh, I don't have that. Okay, well, guys, let me get back to the midday <laughs> because I'm going to be here all day if I don't. Okay. So we'll oh, continue playing almost, that. And uh, <laughs> I'll let Chelsea continue playing that. And uh, thanks, guys, for joining us on the midday. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>